Right, why is a 100 watt bulb said to be more powerful than a 60 watt bulb? Well, what does 100 watts mean? What power is work done divided by time? So 100 watts means that 100 joules is transferred every one second, while 60 means that only 60 joules is transferred every one second. So that means that there is more energy given to every charge as it passes past in a second. What energy transfer takes place in a light bulb? It's electrical. Energy is transferred into light energy, and obviously a bit of heat comes with that. Consumers of electrical energy purchase this energy from the supplier in a unit known as a kilowatt hour. So all the kilowatts you use every hour just get added together. The energy transformation in an appliance with power of one kilowatt operating for one hour gives you one kilowatt hour. How many joules are there in one kilowatt hour? Well, we need to understand what a joule is. A joule is equal to a watt times a second because we know that um, work done is equal to power times time. This is not watts, it's kilowatts, and this is not seconds, it's hours. So I'm going to change one kilowatt times one hour into 1,000 watts times by 3,600 seconds. And I then get 3,600,000 joules. A pump raises... 9,000 decimeters cubed of water through a certain height in two minutes. What is the power output of the pump? The density of water is one kilogram per decimeter cubed. So then I can get a mass by saying density um, is equal to mass divided by volume. And if you didn't know that, kilograms divided by decimeters cubed would give you a hint. And therefore, mass is equal to density times volume, which is going to be 1 times 9,000. So the mass of this particular pile of water is going to be 9,000 kilograms. It's pulled through a height of 60 meters, and there's a time of 2 minutes. So power is equal to work done divided by time. Work done is the force times the distance. The force is the weight, so it's 9,000 times by 9,8. The distance it's being raised through is 60 meters, and 2 minutes is 120 seconds. And I then land up with 45,000 watts. It's actually 44,100, but when um, this is from when you're using 10, so you could say 44 kilowatts. Um, because we're using 9,8 meters per second squared instead of 10 meters per second squared. We've got a cage that's going vertically up a mine shaft at a constant speed of 6 meters per second. The tension in the cable is 5,000 newtons. On here, oopsie, 5,000 newtons. And we've got the cage over here. Um, it's going at a constant velocity, which means that all the forces are in balance. So there would be 5,000 newtons acting downwards as well. If the tension it takes four mi minutes to reach the top, calculate the work done. Work done is the force to pull up times the distance that it goes through. So the first thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to work out the distance. And I can do that by saying that I have got six meters per second for a constant four minutes. So it's very easy. I can say distance is equal to velocity times time, which is six times by 240 and I land up with 1440 meters and then I have to do the work done which is going to be 3000 sorry not 3000 5000 multiplied by 1440 and I land up with 72000 joules then they would like to know the power Power is simply work done divided by time, which is equal to the 7,200,000 joules. And I divided by the time, and the time again was the 100 and, oh sorry, 240 seconds. And I land up with 30,000 watts, which is 30 kilowatts.